all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show you the process of installation of geo server in the windows os so let's get start all right so now here i am at the stable version of geo server download phase so here you can see right now stable version is 2.20.0 release on 18 october 2021 and then here we have three different installation process but i am going to install it through windows installer here uh, other option are platform independent binary through which we can download the binary and install it in the separate folder or we can use the web archive but I am going to install it through Windows installer which is pretty easy and then just step forward. So for that actually I want to follow this documentation. So first step will be the installation of Java, Java 8 or 11. So by clicking this link uh, you will redirect to this page but the latest version I think it's Java 17 but it won't work with the Java 9. So I'm going to download the Java 8 or 11 version. So let's scroll down and then here I am and I think I'll install the Java 11 for Windows and then just simply click this link to download and tick, check this link and then click the download button. But sometimes you may need to register in the this oracle website but i think i already have the account and registered that's why i can download this file and yeah i think it's a uh, step forward okay then i also need to download the windows installer this uh, geo server package so it's installing uh, it's downloading here you can see and it might take some time and then after downloading you can go to the your folder download folder and then simply double click to install the java first okay just click next and then the next and it will automatically start installing okay now my java i think it's installed successfully so now i need to install the geo server okay now my download process is finished successfully and it's downloaded and now i can double click it to start installation of this geo server okay just click next and then this is license click next and then you have to connect to your uh, java version so for that it automatically try to detect the Win java 8 program but i have installed the java 11 that's why i have to browse it to the uh, current path of my java installation so for that actually it's available under the program file java and then i think it's uh, jdk yeah 1.0.8 yeah just click uh, next and then uh, just simply it's the installation directory simply click the next yeah now it's the data directory so simply click next you can change the data directory as well uh, for me uh, i think username by default it will be admin and geo server you can change it here or change later as well and this is the default port for jt server and then it's recommended as the uh, service installer so i also go with the default setting if you install it as a service then it will be available whenever you turn on the 
uh, your PC or laptop it will be automatically open but if you set it manual then every time whenever you need the geo server you need to open the bin folder and then bin and then you have to hit the startup.bat file so so that you can access it and then uh, every time you need to turn off but instead of doing this manual work i need to go with the service installer and then click next and then now it's start installing so if i check it here inside program file you will see the geo server directory which contain all the binary files and then the required informations there okay now uh, the installation process is successful so if you double click you will see all the configuration file and binary file here and then uh, for the data actually uh, it's inside program data and then geo server so you will see all the uploaded data and then the all the data configuration here so uh, from here you can assess the data uh, which will be useful for the visualization later so after installation of the uh, geo server it will uh, available on the service file as well which is here so here uh, you can simply refresh it and then i think it's available here so it's running that means it's available through port 8080 so you can uh, if you wish to disable it uh, you can simply uh, disable it as well but for me it's okay and then if you type the local host and then 8080 and then slash geo server you would assess the geo server ui so which is look like this and then it's the latest version 2.20.0 so simply uh register using a uh, admin and geo server password simply login and then after login actually there will be a few workspaces which contain the uh, some of the demo data set so you can simply delete this all data set and then upload your own so for me uh, let me show you some example how data look like so simply click on the layer and then it will visualize uh, in the data visualization tab i hope you like this video if you like please hit the like button and thank you for watching keep subscribe my channel